back to another sort of tutorial. So today we will be looking at how to create a drawing and then at the end we will also be looking how to take a part and a drawing and zip them into one file or part or folder. Um, so basically as you can see the drawing on the screen, that's a drawing we actually can create today. Um, I pre-created it so um, you need to first create the part so I'll just leave the dimensions on here for just a second so you can just recreate the part. Um, as you can see it's called the rib block and then there's two rib features on both sides of the cylinder um, just obviously for reinforcing um, so we'll get to the section of how you section them um, in just a bit so let me just close this window and just go to the part so as you can see here's the part it has some nice texture on it it's called a galvanized material galvanized here as you can see here um, so basically what else we will do today first i'll show you how to import it but save it as well so basically before you can import it to a drawing you first need to save this part so you obviously just go file save as as whatever my, uh, mine's called part one in this case then you go new you have to open a drawing and as soon as you open a drawing it's going to give a pop-up so it's going to prompt you what size of sheet you want to use so most of the time it will be a3 a3 sheet or it would be a4 depending on what your application is so let's say it's a3 usually we use a3 where i'm from and then it will give you the selection option here on the left so basically that selection option you can just double click on it and just drag it onto the screen and then you can actually click again and it will place one of the views so what you can do is you can either project these views to get more views so that's one way of doing this actually three ways you can actually import views so for instance i'll project the top view and i'll project the right view so now you have three views and you just right click and you actually have your three views as you can see and you can just obviously move them around to where you want them and so on you can actually insert in that one you just go here on the top you go view layout you can say projected view you can say you want a projected view of that and you want a 3d view maybe and you just say yes and you have your 3d view there okay so that's one way of doing it so i'm quickly going to show you another way of doing this then save let's just say new drawing a3 again so let's say you don't want to use this method you can always just select it on the top left you can just say i want to insert a standard three view of my part automatically inserts three views for you and you can still play around you can still insert projected views and auxiliary views and so on off this drawing so that's also another way of doing that and then also the third way you can actually do this is you look here on your right hand side there's somewhere it says view palette so if you click there actually and you select your part one it will import these views so you actually have to just select your part one and it will import all the views so you can just actually click on them drag them here and then leave them and then it actually um, imports them into your sheet so that's also one way of doing them um, so just remember all three of these methods you can still just click on the home screen go you want to insert a projected view maybe of this one and you want to insert a different maybe projected view maybe something like that so you can always do that you can always play around with these things as you go on okay three i like using this method because it's easier for me just to project whatever i want i want a top view and i want a right view and then i'll in, i'll even insert for you guys a 3d view so let's say a 3d view and there we go okay so the first thing i want to show you guys is how you can actually gray out this component so it actually still gives color to it so you can actually just go on the left it says display style so you, you have multiple selections here but it's usually the shaded with edges that will give you your texture to your drawing so it, make, it will make a bit more sense when you submit maybe a design report and so on so it depends on what um, you want to use it for um, so that's one way so another thing you can do is you can actually insert a section view of this so that's also actually very easy you can just right click on the part you want to insert a section view on say drawing views go to section view remember you can view in here or you can either view them there on top so there's more than one way to do this section view and it automatically um, imports it as a vertical section so you can just here select uh, you want a horizontal section or there's a partial one you can also do so i want it to be exactly in the center i just say yes and it says here it automatically pops up what features do you want to exclude so obviously a rib feature you never have a section so I just select my ribs, that one I don't want a section, and that one I don't want a section. Select it nicely, there we go. So it automatically highlights them blue, as you can see, and you just say okay. And then automatically, as you can see, I'll just place it here at the bottom. I just need to delete this one first. So you can, you can just click on it, and just hit delete on your keyboard, and just say yes, and it's gone. 
Okay, obviously now it's aligned to the top one, but it's not aligned to your right hand side view. So what you can do is you can just again hit that one, projected view of that one, you want a right hand side view. Yes, you can always just delete that one just to make sure it's nicely aligned. Just makes it easier when you in import dimensions. Okay, automatically it labels AA or whatever if you have more than one section might be BB, CC, whatever and it automatically the references to what section you've done. So this section AA of that cut, exactly. Okay, so you can obviously flip direction as well. You can actually click on these um, section lines. Let's just click on it and you can actually move it if you want to. You can drag it away. Let's drag it a bit. There we go. You can extend it. You can extend this line as well. Where do you want to extend it to? So there's more than one way you can play around with this program. Okay. Then it automatically creates like this sort of hatching here around it. So that's just it wants to rebuild. So that's all it wants to do. And um, so as you can see the hatching here, it's already done a pre-hatching. So you can obviously select on this drawing and it automatically says your area hatch. So you can always just select your component. You say no material cross hatching and you can actually change. You want solid hatching, none hatching. So you can always add and change these things. You can always format them as well to make them a different color. So you can also do that. If you wanted the ribs also to be sectioned, uh, which I don't know why you want, but then you should have just not selected them. Then you automatically section that. You can always just click on them if it happened like that. If you maybe didn't use a rip feature in your part um, or you couldn't get it right, you can always just click on those hatching, go to that same selection I've went to. And just click on hatching, same selection. You just say material cross hatching. You just unclick that so you can say none and so on. Okay, so you can also do that as well. Then, um, Remember now, this is a third angle layout. So you can actually insert a first angle layout as well. So obviously it would be the in front, um, left and top view at the bottom. So just remember on what orthographic projection you're actually working. Then other things we can do is how do you add dimensions to this? So you actually go here to annotations, you go to model items. You see there's a small dimension option here, but just go to model items. I usually go here and I say entire model and I say import to all views. So it just imports all the dimensions into all three views not all of the time but most of the time you can also insert reference geometry like center lines and so on or axis and you just say select yes automatically imports them into there you can also change these move them around just click on them drag them and you can actually move them around so obviously the idea is here to make your drawing as nice and neat as possible but as you can see that it has two decimal places after it so how do you actually change that you can actually just drag over all your dimensions of your Corsair to automatically pop up here what dimensions you use here it says what precision do you want to use select it and just say none and automatically it goes to zero decimal places so as you can see that obviously that's a double there we go there we go that's also a duplicate you can move them around as you find them space you can actually move this one maybe to the top the reason i say that is let's say you have some hidden detail as you can see there's a small little cut out there at the bottom so let's say you want to view that hidden detail let's say on this view so you select it you go here but i display style again you can obviously make that solid as well but you can select here i want to make hidden detail and you say yes maybe you don't want hidden detail on this view so you just select this one and just say no just normal lines and that's it and maybe this one you want hidden detail again so you can just say select hidden detail there so it depends you can play around with it so let's say you want to move this dimension to a different view you can obviously add it manually or you can move it as is so you just maybe drag it to there you select the two little lines it's usually it creates these small little blue squares you click on it you drag it See, it will create this imaginary line. Same thing with the other one. It creates the imaginary line, and there you go. Okay, so obviously you can move them around, which is nice. For instance, this 50, I want to move to this side. Again, imaginary ones. Drag it to there. Same with that one. Drag it to there. Okay, you'll see if, as soon as you click it, it automatically give like the sort of dimension look. So if it's just on a part, it says part. But if you on that dot, it creates this dimension line. So we can move all these ones around. Maybe say that's the one we want there, that one we don't want. That's 45, 
that's down at the 30 and you can it gives you this yellow illustration of when it's centered to other components and so on there's obviously a lot of things you can do if you click on dimensions you're right clicking on them you can add other dimensions more dimensions you can add like ordinate dimensions so if you have a big part with a lot of cutouts you can add ordinates so it makes it much easier later on in the video i'll also show you how to do that um so then obviously your views all three views as you can see one two of them has hidden detail one obviously is a section view which we don't really want hidden detail then um so if you add dimensions maybe manual so let's go manual dimension and let's say we just want to add maybe let's say a dimension from that side to this side and we say 20 as you can see it automatically brings in as two decimal places you can always just change it again but can you also see the color these are all black dimensions and this one's grayed out so you just click on it so obviously we just want to format the color so you just go to our you go layer what layer do you want it you just say format layer and you say yes and then automatically it changes the color as well so you can do that as well um, as you can see it creates this little curve here just because it's a rip so it's actually when you look to like this it looks sort of straight but it's actually a curved shape here and then also what else can we look at is let's say you want to insert a center line in this one and you don't insert a center line if you went to model items you can actually just go to sketch go to lines again insert center line and you can act actually insert your own center lines wherever you want them as you can see and you can always just go and format this line as well so you can just click on that line you can go to line properties additional year format add options and you just say yes and it will change the line color to black okay so you can also do that as well just to give you guys an idea so you can insert your own lines and so on and maybe if you want to insert a note somewhere you can go to annotations note there maybe say note and we can say yeah uh, insert a note let's just say use rip feature so you can do that just say enter close the note and there you go so and then auto automatically once you duplicate it and you can just move the note around maybe insert it there top right or something like that so you can just say note or nb or something like that just to say there is something that you need to look at before you insert this so obviously you don't want duplicate dimensions you want to make it nice and neat as possible so you can see all dimensions and then obviously if you're done with your your component you can just always save it so you can just go file save it obviously i've already saved my part one because i pre-created for you guys and then also what we also can actually do here is let me show how to edit these sheet informations here so let's say like this component actually has a material in it so it's called galvanized steel let's say you want to insert a material you just go here by your sheet right click on your sheet so you want to edit the sheet format and automatically you can edit all these things here even your borderline so you can actually just maybe drawing number you double click on it it will give this a so let's say this is part one you say hit, you say that's it just click in the box and then wherever it creates if you see here it, it, it shows like a sheet just below my course here. if you go here it shows like a letter a so it actually means then you can insert a note it will give this x box you double click again and maybe you can insert rip um, block and there you go and you can actually move this one more centralized if you want it you can even insert material if you really want to insert the material galvanized steel galvanized steel insert weight you can insert who created a drawing and after you've changed all these components you'll see that automatically it selects a scale one to one so i just want to show you something if you go to this drawing and you go here to scale actually says your scale one to one and then if you select one to two it will automatically update the sheet and then also it depends on how many sheets you have so if you maybe let's say you want to insert another sheet so that was how to edit the block the title block you can obviously remove lines as well so if you want to let's say remove a line let's go back to edit sheet let's say one you, you don't want that line you can always say hit delete it's gone and you can move this lines around wherever you want them and so on so you can really play around with this and then edit it to be whatever sheet you want it to be so let's say you want to insert another sheet you can actually go here by sheets it actually just gives me this rebuild so it just wants me to rebuild everything 
and you can always go right click here and it says here add sheet so as soon as you insert add sheet it says sheet two of two so obviously you can do that play around it will say on the first sheet it will say sheet one of two if there's three one of three and so on it will automatically do that itself so you don't need to change any of that then also let's say you have this drawing view remember you can use your custom sheet scale you can go here and use user defined and you can insert your own um, scale if you want to maybe you just want to size it just a bit more you can do that you can insert the cosmetic thread as high yeah. so there's a lot of things you can do um, with this drawing so for today it was just a basic introduction of how to do this and how to actually create a drawing um, so the last thing I want to show you is if you want to save this drawing and your other um, component into one zip file so what you do is you say you just hover your um, mouse on the SOLIDWORKS icon on top left you go to file you go to pack and go and then in pack and go if both of your files are saved your part and your drawing it will automatically appear here if they're not saved exit save both of them and then go pack and go again so what pack and go is it's just a fancy word it's like an internal thing that sort of works as like an internal zip file creator so then you have two components here you can always just say include drawing because obviously you have a drawing now and then sometimes if you say include drawing the drawing will actually appear um, I don't know it's maybe just a SOLIDWORKS search method or, or something like that and then obviously the other selection you just go to save to zip file you say browse where do you want to save it I'm just gonna say desktop and you give it a name I'm just gonna say maybe 21 or let's call it part one you say save and then obviously you're gonna just say save here now so there's gonna you're gonna see a quick bar run here so that bar would give an error if there's an error in your drawing so just make sure you check that so sometimes it will give an error and then it just means somewhere one of your parts is not safe nightly so you just cancel you just save them again and you come back here so I'm gonna hit save now it's gonna see clean up it quickly ran through automatically create my zip file here and both of your parts should be in there um, which means that your drawing has been zipped correctly you can obviously open them just to double check and so on and to make sure that your part has been created so basically that's a quick introduction to how to create drawings um, from a basic part and how to insert a section view in future videos I'll go into a bit more detail of how to create drawings maybe for assembly how to add balloons and an assembly list or a bill of materials um, so basically thank you for watching um, you can subscribe and like or leave a comment um, for future videos